Still pressing. One, two, Trust it. Don't trust it. Let's see if we can get this up here. Walk my body to the loop out my Whoa! Oh, that's still big up here. Well, I'm standing on a chair here. I'm trying to get this microphone in the water. Is this what it's supposed to sound like? I guess this is what it is supposed to sound like. So, because I am a man, I'm going to turn up the bass in my voice, I guess. I think this is working. I don't know if the mic is too loud. Or the fake guitar is too loud. Or whatever the fuck is too loud. It's still not the right sound effect. So a lot of people think that you just grab a microphone and a fake ass guitar and a drum machine and you can sing and be a millionaire. You stupid motherfuckers need to understand one thing about being a millionaire. Millionaires just don't do it. They have somebody plan out a fucking whole thing for them to fucking do before they can make that million off of whatever they're thinking about. There's plans laid down. Did Errol Smith just go in the studio and say, hey, we're going to make a million dollars with this? No. Somebody had an ink pen and a pencil paper, and they wrote it down. Every aspect of it. Every inkling of it. The Beatles did the same thing. They didn't come out their head with shit. Except for the shit they put in that video about the submarine. Which I love. That's one of my favorite fucking movies ever of all time. That means... From the day you live to the day you die. The yellow submarine is the shiznit. Ask Snoop Dogg. He knows what shiznit is. So people think that um, you can go buy a guitar or you can buy a drum machine. You can buy all this shit to make you a rock star. There's more to music than rock and roll and soul and funk. And fake plastic ass guitars that sound like keyboards with only so many keys to play. 
apparently those people out there who know me know that I have lost a lot once I lost my guitar player. I mean, once the guy was not for me, once I lost my picker, it was all sad after that. Without no picker, you got a motherfucker with a fake ass guitar trying to pick what the picker used to pick. Don't even sound remotely close on a bad motherfucking day. Who wants to come to California and play guitar for the real fucking AIX? Anybody want to come play guitar for me on one song? One fucking song? Anybody got the balls to hop on a bus or airplane and jam with me? Invitation has been set there for you. I haven't produced a song that I like in over a year or two. I got a song stuck in my fucking head and no guitarist. What do I do to get you here? What can I say to make it sound clear? I need somebody to play guitar for me who ain't tripping off no fucking money. You want to be a rich and famous? You go find a rich and famous motherfucking dummy. The moral of the moment is this. I need a guitar player. I need one now. I need a fucking guitar player. Please. You're in California, hop on a motherfucking bus. not my fault. The economy is so bad, my guitar player had to leave the state of California to go to Nebraska. And in Nebraska, there's no work. Left California to get some fucking work, went to Nebraska, there's no work. One more riff. This is a riff for Nebraska. Wait a minute. That's not good enough for the Nebraska I know. That's too good for the Nebraska I know. Hold on. That's almost right.
Nebraska. Guitar's a bunch of bullshit. Hey, my guitar is in Nebraska. My guitar is in Nebraska. Until it's done, I only have 15 minutes. I have no video cameras hooked up other than the webcam. This is dedicated to the Shadow Master out there in Nebraska. I don't know how to start this song. I want to get the guitar right. I know my voice is loud. Let's see if the beat will work. Ooh. 
I think this beat is too hard for Nebraska. Let me go a cappella. No, I can't do that. Wait a minute. No doo wops here. Wait a minute. I can go Frank Sinatra. Wait, I got to get a beat going. You're right. The beat has got to be going. Slow it down. Let me slow it down. I slowed it down after we've been singing this song fast for about an hour and a half. The girls are sweet. They'll be your meat in Alaska. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We're supposed to be singing about Nebraska. Oh, yeah, stop this. Wait a minute. I was about to sing an Alaska song. I was thinking about Sarah Palin. I'm sorry. This one sounds pretty good, hold on. Let me turn the tempo, speed it up now. What the fuck? Hold on, wait a I think that's... Sweet, and they'll be your meat in the grass. The grass. That's too gangster shit. I mean, that's all hibbity hobbity. something else in my mind. So people say I'm fucking crazy. Listen up close, motherfucker. Don't pay those fools no mind. Now, I'm supposed to be singing about Nebraska. The fuck 
fucking state that stole my goddamn guitar player. They took him in the middle of the fucking night. While I was sitting down doing my fucking prayers. You know, I'm a good Christian. And I'm a good Jew. And if you got enough money, I'm a good Muslim too. But when society fucks me by taking my shit, all I can do is get mad and create a fucking monstrous hit. But the problem is fucked up. Because they took something that I need. I need my guitar player like a motherfucker need blood and their body to bleed. So I'm all fucked up. And they eventually broke down. But I gotta get my shit together. Cause these motherfuckers try to clown me. I lost my guitar player. He shook the fucking keys. He shook it so hard, baby. Break it down to your knees. I'm sitting here with a paper jam looking like a goddamn fucking fool. With a song in my head without a guitar, I fucking cannot rule. I should call up Jack Black, or maybe his bald-headed friend. I don't know what the fuck I should do. I need a guitar, can you hear me, man? This plastic-ass shit, it's driving me insane. I need a guitar player to settle out my brain. He moved away to the land of snow, not where Santa Claus be. His ass moved to Nebraska. So Nebraska fucked me. Now I hate this state. But all the being in my soul. Cause Nebraska can lick my fucking brown hole. These motherfuckers took me. Bit me over real smooth. Took my guitar player. One swift fucking move. And I sit here fucking crying like a bitch in motherfucking heat. Cause that guitar player I had, motherfucker, would make you burn the souls off your feet. That motherfucker was bad, like Jimi Hendrix's soul brought back. He was like a hit, a double hit of cocaine mixed with crack. With a little speed induced to keep you up all night long. Cause when that motherfucker struck the guitar, he wouldn't do it, stop until he produced the song. But I gotta sit here with my hair all cut fucked up. Hitler mustache. People saying I'm acting fucked up. Time is crushing down on me. I cannot live forever. But without my guitar player, I'm just a nigga talking fucking clever. It's pissing me off. Cause I like to piss for a long time. Got a fucked up prostate. But I got a good electrifying mind. <laughs> I can piss for an hour. Not because I want to. I want my guitar player back. So fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Fuck Nebraska. Fuck Nebraska. Oh, wait a minute. That don't even sound hardcore. Make my ass feel like I'm being fucked. I feel like a guy at a trailer stop getting broke off in a truck. I have to have a backup guitar player play the plastic guitar. It's so fucked up. Two people together can't make a fucking star. I have a head. It's going through my room. guitar right here ain't nothing but a plastic piece of shit. If I tried to do the best I can, I'm always gonna fall short. If I was a fiend on cocaine, give me a motherfucking line so I can snort. 
But my nose is clear And my brain is clear The only fear I have Is from fucking fear I'm scared to be scared of not having guitar So my jams could come out smooth I can't jam like this motherfuckers I'm just a needle stuck in a fucking groove Making a fucking record Playing a fucking sound Without my guitar that's stuck in Nebraska I look like a goddamn fucking clown Hair all cut fucked up Mohawk on hawk How the fuck you act when your mohawk Just came from a motherfucking pawn shop I ain't motherfucking lying. They had my mohawk in Detroit. I had to get it back from them people on that show. And them motherfuckers are all non-void. You don't understand what I'm saying. Because your minds are too small. If your dick was big as mine, you'd be as big as my fucking balls. And if my balls was any bigger, they wouldn't call me black. They'd call me nigga. And if I was the nigga that I wanted to be, I'd be motherfucking free. But instead, I'm stuck in this hole. A hole without no mind. Because Nebraska took my fucking guitar, and I'm stuck with my behind. My ass is out on Front Street, and everybody can see it. It ain't my motherfucking fault that most of people out there want to be it. Yes, you want to be my ass when I had a guitar player because I could grab that motherfucking microphone and look like a goddamn slayer. I wouldn't have to say shit because he'd be wheeling the motherfucking ass. And everybody know Lonzo Lover wouldn't know how to motherfucking act. I'd be fucking insane and he'd be smoking them teeth. And everybody say, Lonzo Lover, stop breaking these motherfuckers down to their knees. It's been two years now. Ain't nobody bowed down. It's about time for me to pack up this plastic ass guitar and leave town. I might hop in a plane and head to Nebraska. Pick that motherfucker up and destroy Alaska. Cause something so cold needs something so hot. Cause what I got to give, baby, the rest of the world ain't got enough. They ain't got enough to catch it. Ain't got enough to need it. Ain't got enough to want it. Cause these motherfuckers need it. I'm fucking different, baby. I'm not what they give you every day. But I ain't shit without no guitar fucking playing. I'm just a regular person with a microphone and a dream. Without my guitar, I'm just a fucking fiend. Screaming for the rock. Living for the roll. Waiting for the day. The vine brings you my soul. I'll slap you in the face. Whap you across that ass. Once I get my guitar back, y'all fuckers won't laugh. Well, fuck it. I guess I'm in concert mode tonight. This is the third video of your free concert. Or is this the second video of your free concert? I don't know. So, this is the same beat that was playing at the last song, so I'm going to rock one more. No plastic guitar. I have a song in my head about what's going on around the world, especially in Libya. Now, if I was a ruler like Muammar Gaddafi, I would come out with a rap song about me. So, I am not Gaddafi. I am me. So, I'm going to sing about me in place of Gaddafi. Now, motherfucking fool, I don't want to get rid of my power. All you fuckers, I will devour. Shoot my planes over your sight. Blow your ass up in the day or night. But now, I kept stability in this region. What you're doing is treason. I'll bring
break you down to the ground and everybody know the sound of your bone crushes under my tank and you know that your body will stink in about three days from being on the ground crushed down into the ground how you like it now that's what i would sing if i was Gaddafi. but yet i wouldn't want to be Gaddafi right about now Vladimir Rasputin in Russia, because now Russia seems a place where I can kick back and chill. Now, I would be in Russia spending my rubles, and I don't give a fuck about you, 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 or you, though, but now I'm, I would do my thing in Russia. So somebody asked me, well, you could relax in Russia. Where would you have some drama? Where would I have drama? Well, shit. Now, I live in the U.S. of fucking A, and each and every motherfucking day, people sit back and they begin to pray about some goddamn thing called Judgment Day. And you're praying and praying just to stay alive, but you should be praying just to survive because uh, things are going not so good in your neighborhood and your neighborhood and in my neighborhood. Shit looks rough and shit be tough and shit is rough and people are tough and people are rough but it ain't too tough and it ain't too rough and you can survive if you want to strive and you can be alive if you want to be alive but your ass can die in a blink so don't even over fucking think or blink now where would I have the most drama they say is a place where they have drama. You know, in America, we got Obama. So I don't know what the fuck is worse if you're after birth or you're before birth. But now I'm in life and time and what you go through. Everything you go through has to go through your mind. Don't get left behind because like Frankenstein, they created his mind. He woke up from a strange dream and he knew he was dead, but he could seem to be alive, be reanimated, so he don't know that he's been perpetrated by some doctor who created him in some image that he wanted to see, but he could not be. So we live in that same image in the USA, I think it's today, so I'm... Um, where is the most drama? Should I think about our President Obama? What he's going through with the medical bill when I'm sick as fuck and I can't be healed? Now, I don't know about him and the Republicans and the Democrats and the, and the other people and all this and that and all that bullshit because my name is Alonzo and I get bullshit now. I went through this when I was growing up and then that when I was an adult and bullying and all that shit that I don't know. It's all this other fucking drama in the mix that makes shit all twisted. So when you go to world events and all these other people say it don't make sense, and every other continent on this fucking planet, everybody want a job. Jobs are taken for granted. When you got one, you gotta hold it. Now all these motherfuckers just think they don't give a shit. You go to work every day, and the boss sits around his ass gets paid. You work like a slave and you work like a dog and you work like a bitch. You work like a frog and you work like a this and you work like a that. That motherfucker's driving a brand new Cadillac and it. He went and bought his goddamn daughter Alexis and what the fuck is next? He's talking shit about the Mexican people on the job. How they fucking living? They living too large. What the fuck you talking about? Shut your goddamn eating it ass mouth. But their people don't care. If you're broke, they really don't care. I got to eat so I can feed my kids. I got to work so I can take care of shit. I need this. I need that. But most of the people don't give a fuck about that. They got theirs. Get yours. What's you doing? What's your problem? What you thinking about? What you got? You ain't got shit, but the spot got hot by now. Everybody says, you know, why are you rapping? Now, rap, back in the days, was a conversation. When two people sat down and talked about something, they were rapping about the situation. 
I did a song about Nebraska. And I sang this song about Nebraska for two hours before I turned on the video camera. We turned the video camera on, and I could not do the song about Nebraska anymore. I do everything I do live at the time. And I do shit real. I complain about not having my guitar player. I complained about having to use a, what's this called? Paper Jams guitar. If I strum it right now, it'll go click, click, click. It was going to play some rock and roll song that was great hit. And the singers of the song sold out. In America, they expect you to sell out for money. In America, they expect you to sell out for fame. In America, they expect you to give up all you have to be part of this American culture. But if this culture depends on something I say, based on something I do, based on the way I feel, fuck this culture. This culture should be built on people working hard, earning a living, creating a life and a better future. But our culture is built on a bunch of fuckers singing songs about getting pussy and doing drugs. That's the American way. Because if you motherfuckers can't party, you're full of fucking shit when it comes to the USA. Because we will party our ass off and fuck you up in war. Period. If we can't beat you in war, we'll bomb your ass until you shit your pants. And then you will turn on the radio and dance to one of our motherfucking millions of tunes. And then, if you don't turn on the radio, you're going to turn on that damn VCR. Yeah, baby. Your cable TV. And watch a movie that was produced by a bunch of people who just kicked your fucking ass. I love America. I wouldn't have any other place to call my home. So, if you love America... Say fuck the world, but don't fuck yourself, because you might have to live in a different part of the world. I love America, and my guitar's plastic, and it sucks balls, but the balls are covered by elastic. Get the picture? America is built on pop culture. Being a part of pop culture, I love my country, but I don't love pop culture. Pop culture has nothing to do with people getting jobs, feeding their family, and eating. If you got to listen to a new download by your favorite artist before you feed your kid, you need your ass whooped. <laughs> so... I don't know what to sing today. My plastic guitar is not jamming. I don't have no guitar player. And all I am is an angry person. Pissed off at those people who control me because they control me for all the wrong reasons. They don't control me to make people happy. They control me to make people sad. They don't control me to make people happy. They only control me and piss me off and make me mad. <laughs>
damn time we try to do something positive for other people to live on our planet. The rich and famous take our shit for granted and destroy our planet. Good and bad and bad and good and all and good is all the same. You can like me today, but tomorrow you can hate me the same. I can say something whistle, wazzle, wazzle, whistle. Make your brain go fizzle, fizzle, bizzle, fizzle, knizzle. And it don't mean shit if it don't make no damn money. I can act like a goddamn fool, but I look like a goddamn dummy. If the corporation wants to drag you down to the motherfucking ground, then that fucking corporation is going to drag your ass down. We need to all stand up, fight the oppressor. Once we realize who he is, we are the aggressor. Once you beat those people who beat you down, you beat them down, you turn the thing around. If you can't save yourself, you might as well put your life on a goddamn shelf. I think we all need a relaxer. The United States of America needs an enema, but I ain't gonna flush you out. I say you motherfuckers trying to boss people around, ought to shut your mouth. I got about 45 seconds left, they'll shut me fucking off. Try to be better than your father was, and your mother was, and your cousin was, and those fuckers was. Tomorrow is our playland, let's live there. Right about now, I really don't care. Make sure I can live tomorrow. Don't fucking cry, cause I don't give sorrow. We only have 45 seconds left. We only have 25 seconds left. Get your shit back in order. Pay your child support. See your daughter. See all your kids. All this shit you're doing is just bullshit. I can say the same things over and over. Roll over, 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 leaf clover. But you can't see me unless you open your eyes. Don't be surprised I'm not between your thighs. Ten seconds left. You've been too, you've been too, you've been too. Open up your eyes, you goddamn fool. They're gonna cut me off, they're gonna shut my voice out. They're gonna shut me up, shut my mouth. I don't give a fuck, I got about two seconds left. Don't think about Jazzy Jeff. Think about tomorrow. I gotta go back to the hideout so they can't find me I... what the fuck can we do now how can we be free if I fuck with you and you fuck with me what the fuck do we do if I don't like you when you don't like me how the fuck do we I can push your face down in the mud But talk that shit and not give you no love And you can push my face down in the dirt Talk that shit, don't give me no work But now if we walk around the same goddamn planet Taking each other's lives for granted How the fuck can I get anything done If I won't even let you see the goddamn sun If you won't let me have a break of day For me to make my way to get fucking paid how can we respect each other if you call me a stupid motherfucker? And I'll call you all kind of motherfucking son of a this and son of a that now. How can we be friends if me and you can't make it to the goddamn end? Somebody once said to me that black people and white people can't let each other be free. I ain't holding no collar on your neck. Why the fuck you want to run me down in this car wreck? The wreck of real life, real life and reality and all this bullshit. You 
can't help me, my brother, then you some ignorant, stupid motherfucker. Black people got to help the white man, white people have to help the black man. Who the fuck is that motherfucker saying that we can't understand? You and me is the same person in the same skin, but you ain't my friend because I ain't your friend now. I don't like you for what you did to me. You don't like me for what you want to fucking see. Your whole society's based on me. How in the fuck can me and you both be free? You got to be a slave or I got to be a slave. But now one of us got to be a slave and still in the cave. Now I'm, if I can't be a free man, then I got to be me, man. And uh, you got to be you, man. Now, why can't I be me? And how come you can't be you? Black and white is two goddamn different things. And we ain't living in no goddamn suit. And if your color is lighter than mine, it's maybe because you had a little bit too much fun. Maybe because the world is not our world, but some place we came to visit. You're going to get your shit straight. We all got to fight that lizard. People say I'm kind of crazy and I've been on YouTube too long. I'm broke as fuck, but I'll be making guitar songs with a plastic guitar song.
And he's like, um, what do you think about what's going on overseas? I don't find no chair right now. This was a musical interlude. That shit change. Now, I tried to tell this guy that what I think overseas is stupid. And I look at... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got to... Oh. Wow. You got to turn certain shit off. That's the guitar. That's not plugged up. They hear it? It's not plugged up anymore. So listen, we in America, we've had it easy, a friend of mine told me, for too long. And I've said to myself, we haven't had it easy. We haven't had jobs for five years. There's other countries out there who hasn't had jobs for six years. Fuck them. I'm American. I honestly want to say, when I worked at the factories, building shit, America was cool. Now America's not cool anymore. You try your best to do what you can do to better everything around you. You just like, in America, we need Michael Jordan in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? We need Jordans of the neighborhood. People who make people better around them. And that is the only problem we have in this country. <coughs> and we have the best weed on the planet Earth, too. <coughs> That's a problem. When you got the best weed on the planet, <coughs> there's a bunch of stupid people in your country. But that's okay. We need the good, the bad, and the ugly. But like I said, the problem with America is we need jobs. I worked at HP, which is Ewart Packard, and we built computer stuff. We built computer stuff that shaped the whole fucking planet. What do we build now in our town? We build dreams and bullshit in this town. You can get a job if you make nine fifty to ten dollars an hour, no benefits, and if that's what you can live off of, then we got that all day. We got $9 an hour for you all day. No benefits and no chance of, uh, what's the word? Uh, when you want to move up in the company, what's the word, Mr. S? What's the word when you want to move up in a company? Progression. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want to go to a job where you're going to work in the mailroom for 30 years, fine. That's cool. They ain't going to have no jobs like that around here. Because if they're going to give you a job for 30 years, you better be killing somebody or shooting somebody with a gun and driving in a fucked up car with lights on the top of it and a big old star on the side of that motherfucker. Pension reform. Oh, I got to bring the microphone back down for that. Pension reform. A lot of people in uh, the state of California want pension reform. The only pension reform I want in the state of California is for those who are not supposed to get it. In other words, if you're a police officer and you've kicked people's ass for no reason at all, you don't fucking deserve a pension. I'm serious. I don't give a fuck if you worked 60 years. If you kick people's ass and people went to jail for nothing, and you were in charge, your pension needs to be reformed. Firefighters, I love you to death, but I'm sorry. You should not get 75% to 90% of your wages for the rest of your life when you haven't worked in 25 years. I'm sorry. I know.
know some people who work for the state and for the county and these other people who are getting big money for the rest of their life are talking about making sure these people don't get big money. In other words, the good old boys are retired and their grandsons and great grandsons and granddaughters are not working. So why in the fuck do these niggers, Mexicans, and poor white trash need any fucking money coming to them. They do not deserve the same pensions as the good old boys. Yeah. I will shut this down. I'm done. Thank you. I'll turn this off. I was doing a video on the workers in America. I'm sorry that I was too loud and made people who actually live here have to hear too much. Only thing should be going on in the house is AJ and the dog. Junior and the dog. Thank you very much for the peanut gallery shutting the show down tonight. Wow. Hey, Mr. S, go ask her to reset the thing right now. Quick, knock on the door, quick. Quick, do it right now while she's got her foot deep in my ass. Yes, once again, like any regular American, this will be filmed live. Even the wife coming in, putting balls to the fire stone will go on this video. America, fuck you. Because you've said fuck me so many times, America, tonight. And only tonight, the real AIX will say, fuck America. For only the next two hours, fuck America, because I live in America, and we can only be fucked for so long by me. Oh, you know what? I will change my fuck America to fuck America for five minutes. Fuck us for five minutes, and fuck the rest of the world for the rest of the two hours, because I love America. Can I get some Pat Benatar playing, please? What? No one is in the studio with the real AIX after the wife shows up. Oh, um, this is one of those moments where the guy is stuck with the microphone. I feel, I feel like Charlie Sheen with $10 left, and my crack dealer knows I show up with 50s. At least 50 50s. And this time I only have a 10 so I'm showing up at the crack dealer's house and I'm Charlie Sheen after being there all day. And now I only got $10. What does the crack dealer do? Charlie Sheen shows up at a crack dealer's house. What does a crack dealer do? Do you serve Charlie the 10? This, my friends, is the conclusion of the free Charlie Sheen concert. So I did a few songs, and I just like to sporadic. I was winning. So I did my songs out of my head. And, you know, I dedicate these songs to Charlie Sheen. Because people in this world, hold on, wait, my, mic, my microphone is dropping. It's dropping. It's dropping. Why is my mic, why is my mic not nice? Oh. So let's. I dedicate these videos that I just did to Charlie Sheen. This motherfucker played the role for people on TV. He acted. He did everything you wanted him to do. But now, when Charlie wants to do Charlie, there happens to be a problem with Charlie. So, the last videos, the sound effects, the sound effects didn't come out. So, I'm going to turn this down a little bit more. Oh, that was no sound. Now, now the sound. And, uh, you hear that feedback? That's feedback for Charlie. Now, listen. 
idiots out there, you fools out there. Wow. Now. That's what I am talking about. Now. This is, of course, the Charlie. Can't be proud of. Now, so listen. I'm talking in my Charlie voice. To Charlie. Now, Charlie, all these people who have nothing but negative things to say about you. Fuck them, Charlie. Whoa! Can you hear what I'm saying to you, Charlie? This is the real. So, Charlie Sheen, from me to you, fuck the small people, Charles. It's Yes, I called you Charles and Charge. So, Charlie, forget these people. They wrote you. said, they rode you hard, Charlie, and tried to put you away, which, Charlie, this is the last song from the Charlie Free concert, because I want to free from you. Like I said, I want to free Charlie Sheen from you all. Now, can you hear I said I wanted to free Charlie Sheen from you all? So Charlie Sheen, because I don't think the sound effects will come out on the video. Charlie, So Charlie Sheen, everything you're doing, Charlie, is now stapled in pop culture. Now that you've let people know that cocaine will not just kill you, but will make you deteriorate. You've done this the whole time. 
and now you do it in their face, Charlie. And they're kicking your ass for it. Is it worth it? You don't give a shit. No one gives a shit. None of us give a shit. But I do like it, Charlie. I like Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Because I can. He's a good guy. And just because he wants to express himself in this manner. You don't have to hold it against him. You sit back and you watch these other girls rob and steal from people. No pop for Lindsay Lewis. So, you people are giving this man a hard time for being himself. Why? You wouldn't bitch about Britney Spears. You wasn't giving a damn about Britney Spears. So when these female actresses do shit and they do stuff and these these males do stuff like Mel Gibson and Charlie Sheen is blown out of proportion. If you're a female and you look good, you can do cocaine driving down the street, chasing people in your car. But if you're an old white man, on the way out, people will fucking magnetize everything you do. So, I'm saying in defense of Charlie Sheen, leave that motherfucker alone. Leave him alone. Why? Why do you want to mess with... <laughs> it's fun. When I do like... It's all epic. Charlie just want to be Charlie. Charlie don't want to be fuck with. Charlie want to be able to go to work and do his job and come home and fucking relax. Charlie's wives leave him because they can't deal with Charlie. Wait a minute. No sound effects in the household when you're living with Charlie. <laughs> Tiger blood winning. I mean, it's like this man is trying to relax, and people all up in his ass with both their hands and feet. Why? You can't find somebody else to fuck with other than Charlie wants to do Charlie Sheen Sheen. Come on. I dedicate two of those five songs I did earlier to Charlie Sheen because I was thinking about <laughs> and you motherfuckers fell for that shit. Two and a half man burn him out. Ah, Let this 
this motherfucker live his life, man. Get off his balls. Please. And I'd love to see you do a movie, you know, about Charlie. Charlie. Do a movie about this last two years. 2010 and 2012 Charlie So, that was for you, Charlie Sheen. That is my last video for the week. Get off Charlie's balls. Send Lindsay to jail. Charlie You have been
Oh. 
all ignorant and you should really bad the food so y'all can see the bad. And can you see it hanging? No, I ain't gang banging. I've been going for three minutes long, so I'm gonna have to shut down the sun. And if it ain't coming out funky enough, and ain't had no breakdowns, no hooks, and none of that stuff. Because I keep going flowing like a volcano flowing out like some damn blink Plug in your claw drain. Stupid motherfucker, sit down and open your goddamn body. Now, I'm trying to do something that your mama and daddy couldn't do. The fucking Jews. Too cheap to tell your ass something else. You need to listen to something else and put the shit back on the shelf. If you can't find a wreck that you like, make one you can sing by the bing, by the back, by the bloom. You can bloom like a rose. Get the shit out your goddamn bloody ass. You know, stop rolling. Save your soul, put that bullshit in a hole, put some dirt over the top, put a flower on the top, call that shit, but put it to the stop now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, rolling a bowl in your mouth, putting some shit in your nose, giving your arms some goddamn harm now. I'm trying to tell you that drinking too much will fuck your ass up now. I'm trying to break it down real easy. Life nowadays is real fucking sleazy. People act cheesy. Everybody got a fucking angle. Yo, punk ass will get wrangled. Boy or girl, white or black, how you act? No, it's how you react. Because people break you down quick. They'll take everything you got real quick. Do it real slick, do it real fast, do it right in front of your dumb fucking ass. They don't care what you got. If they need what you got, they don't care who got your back. Cause if I gotta get what you gotta get, then I gotta get what I gotta get when I gotta get what you got. Put it in my pocket real, real quick. Make you feel real, real sick inside your belly. I'll make you sick inside. You'll hate me. I'll break you down and take your shit and take your money and break your shit and break your soul and break your heart in two. If you want me, yeah, nigga. You want me to act like a nigga, I'll act like a nigga for you. Now, you can say this and you can say that a word don't make a man a man. And if you want to try to be all you can, just do the best that you can. And if somebody want to judge you for someone else's mistake, throw them to the wayside. Because they ain't got no pride themselves. They'd rather push down somebody else. You've been tuned, you've been tuned by the great AIX. You've been tuned, you've been tuned by the real AIX. You've been tuned, you've been tuned by the great AIX. And I am what I am. Fuck you so far, but what's next? I am what I am, so fuck you. Fuck what's next?
What's next for me? What's next for me? What's next? Yeah! Bob me. Wow! No way. people that 